Hey everyone, it's Mona here Craft Clash. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to make egg coasters and that was suggested by Brandywine6969. To make the egg coasters you need an egg and a frying pan or a griddle. And you end up with something like this. No, no, I'm kidding. But we are making egg coasters. To make these eggs we need some molds. So I'm going to use this plastic jewelry mold that I've used in the past. And I'm going to use this ice maker, this ice ball maker that I used for that glitter ball way back when. I have mixed one ounce of the Easy Cast, and then I have the Resin Obsession pigment colors, and I'm going to use the opaque yellow. So the first thing we need to do is make the egg yolk. So I'm going to put just a small bit in here and see how the color turns out. So I'm going to add some of the other stuff too. Now I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this bright orange. So just mix your colors until you get it nice and eggy. And I'm going to just pour it right into here. And then I'm going to pour some right into the bottom of here till about, ooh, let's say there. Now we're going to take our lighter and we are going to pop the bubbles. And we're going to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come back and then we can move on to make the rest of the egg. This stuff has all cured and now I'm just going to pop them right out. The sunny side up egg is usually more free form and that's what we're going to do. Now somebody had reached out to me not that long ago and asked me if I knew that you could use resin with silly putty and it won't stick. And I thought that was, you know, crazy and I wrote down who it was and now I'm mad at myself because I can't find my note because I wanted to give credit for it. Um, and thank you for, for letting me know about that. Because I did a little experimenting and it is absolutely true the Silly Putty doesn't stick to the resin. So I thought that's a perfect thing to make a mold out of. And originally all I could find was like the neon stuff that glows in the dark and that worked fine and then I just found the regular stuff um, this time. I'm mixing the colors because I don't care about the colors. So all I'm going to do is kind of roll this into a snake and kind of shape an egg. And none of these will be the same because you're never going to get the same exact shape. I'm working on parchment paper because I can peel the resin off of the parchment paper as well. So I'm going to press this down, create a seal. And I'm not coming this high with the resin. I'm planning on making it pretty, um, pretty thin. And I'm going to repeat this process with two more. So I have three ounces of the Easy Cast all mixed up. And I'm going to add a little bit of the white pigment dye. And this is the Resin Obsession. Okay, now it's mixed. And I'm going to just pour some into each of it. I don't know if I need three ounces. Because I do want it to be kind of thin. I'm going to take my lighter and pop the bubbles. I can drop these in and they won't sink all the way in. And you want them off to the side, just like that. So there's enough room for a glass to sit on the white part. And nothing seems to be running out from under, so I think we're in good shape. So we're going to let these sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come back and unmold them. So I've unmolded one, and I just wanted to kind of show you. The Silly Putty does like to stick to the parchment paper, but it does come off. But that's good, because then you get a nice seal. And this one didn't leave any discoloration, but the first one that I did unmold left a little pinkish color around. And this one probably will leave a little discoloration too. Not really, I can, I can just rub that right off. So I don't know what happened with this one, so I'm going to try to grind that edge off. These other ones turned out really good. We're still at the point where the resin is pretty pliable. So you could leave them like this, but I was thinking because usually the whole egg has kind of um, almost a clear film over it after you cook it that I'm actually going to put on a clear layer on top. Here are our eggs and I've mixed some more of the Easy Cast and I did three ounces. I don't think I'll need that much. 
I'm going to just kind of pour it over a little bit and then spread it with one of these brushes. So I want to make sure I get around the edge. And then take your lighter, pop your bubbles, and then let it sit. We're going to let these sit a minimum of 12 hours to let them set up. The eggs are done, so I'm going to just peel them all off. So I have a little excess around, and now I'm just going to take my old scissors, give them a little trim, and it's been about 12 hours, so they're still flexible for me to cut. I don't have to grind anything or anything like that. So here's an egg coaster. So here they are up close, and it would seem like the perfect place for your glass of orange juice in the morning. So be sure to let me know what you think of the egg coasters in the comments below. So if you want your idea in the fishbowl, be sure to leave it on the most recent coaster video. And then the next week I pick from all the new, all the new ideas that people submitted the week before. So get creative with your ideas. Um, this was a really fun one for me to kind of think of a different way of doing it. And certainly there's a lot of ways we'll be able to use Silly Putty in the future. So in the meantime, you guys, stay safe, happy crafting. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing and for giving me a thumbs up. We'll definitely see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting. It's time for the fishbowl. I have Candy Smiles 11 Hamburger Coaster. I kind of see a food thing happening here. I'll see you next time, you guys. Be sure to add your idea for the fishbowl for next week.